Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today is October 1st. We are officially here, which also means we're gonna be decorating for Halloween today. We're also gonna be running the Trader Joe's today. So there's gonna be a Trader Joe's haul with all the fall Halloween goodies. I don't know if they do Halloween. I think they just do fall goodies. I'm not quite sure, but I'm really excited. I've only been to Trader Joe's one time, and that was, I think, two years ago with Larry and Liam. I think Liam was like, he was a baby baby he was like eight months old and it was definitely an experience because <laughs> the trader joe's is in tampa and the parking lot is super super tiny so there's like no parking whatsoever so hopefully going during the week will be good so Larry and I have just been working on basically getting everything out Halloween wise that we're going to use to decorate. And I totally forgot about the Halloween Christmas, Halloween Christmas tree, Halloween tree that we always do. I forgot that we did that. Larry's in the garage looking for the Christmas tree. I keep calling it a Christmas tree, the Halloween tree. And then what was I going to say? Oh, we have a new additive to our spooky decor this year, which I'm so excited about. I've always wanted to do it and we just haven't. And this was the year that I was like, right, we're doing it. And I ordered floating pumpkins on Amazon. You guys know like the Harry Potter floating Amazon floating, the Harry Potter floating pumpkins. We are going to attempt to put those up. I just need to figure out where I want to put them because our ceilings in the living room are super high. So I don't know if it would be best to put them by the front door, like right here, when you come in the house, you can see them dangling. But of course it would be nice to have them in the living room, kind of down by the TV. But again, those ceilings guys are like next level up there high. So we'll just have to see. But I also am struggling with the fact that I feel like we may have to take down some fall decor in order to put up some Halloween decor. So I really want to do jumping topics here, my brows really quick, because they are just so insane. Uh, we just need to brush them up and put some clear gel into them just so they're um, uniform over here. I feel like the Netflix uh, woofing out girl, like I feel like, not that she had eyebrows like that, but I feel like I have woofy eyebrows right now. They're just like, poof. okay, that's done. This morning, Liam and I destroyed the living room. We had books everywhere, toys everywhere. You guys saw me cleaning it up. And then I hopped in the shower and now I'm just getting dressed in while well, I'm dressed, but just doing makeup, getting ready. And we will spend the remainder of the time decorating and getting this house cute spooky not too crazy spooky, just cute spooky, which is usually what I do anyways. I don't have anything kind of like scary or gory it's just cutesy especially with having a toddler we took liam into target the other day and they had the tall kind of scary looking <laughs> yard i don't know i don't even know what if he was like a skeleton or if he was like i don't know what he was but liam wasn't a fan he didn't cry but he was like uh, no and i'm like okay buddy let's go this way he wasn't a fan of it but so this is the year that he's obviously much more aware of like spooky decor and things like that going on whereas last year he was still a little too little a little too little <laughs> i think my skin i think it has to be pregnancy related because i feel like my skin is going through a bit of a change where it's almost like itchy slash irritated and i haven't changed any products I haven't done anything new so i'm like oh this is weird like my skin just feels dry it's almost as if like i was living up north and we've had a severe weather change and my skin is reacting to it that's how it feels right now but i know that's not the case because we definitely have not had a weather change here in florida the gender reveal video has officially gone live as i am filming this video we posted it to go live on october 1st just because i thought that that would be really fun like usually i upload on monday wednesday and saturday but I skipped the Monday upload and saved it for Tuesday just because of the date, October 1st. I was like, oh, just with it being like pumpkin themed. And then of course, Larry hitting a baseball, but like fall themed the announcement. I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to upload, upload it in September. Let's upload it in October. October 1st would be perfect. So you guys are 
freaking out, so excited. Freaking out probably the way I freaked out and Larry freaked out, like thinking, holy crap, girl, like how? We we're just so over the moon and so excited. And no matter what, what baby was, we were excited, you know, to have a healthy baby. Like that is all that matters at the end of the day. So, but we were blessed with beautiful little baby girl. So it's really fun reading all of your comments and it's just been a great, wonderful day. So thank you for all the love on the gender reveal. And yeah, it's just been really nice. Why am I putting blush down my neck? <laughs> Going pink vibes today. This is still my favorite highlight of all time. The cookie by benefit hi highlight. It's just such a pretty like champagne color, like a pearly champagne. It's just great. We are done. Let's drink our very hot chai tea. I made that mistake again. You guys taught me that it's not chai tea, it's just chai. I'm gonna drink my chai. <laughs> and then we're gonna unbox. We have two boxes to look through, two bins from the garage. We're gonna see what's in there. And then we're gonna see, I guess I'm, I'm really gonna have to take down some fall decor, guys. We're gonna have to replace it with some Halloween. And then once Halloween is over, take down, the, okay, let me know, guys. Or should I not ask this until closer to November? Whatever, I'm gonna ask now. Are you guys the type that once Halloween is over, you skip to decorating for Christmas? Or do you still keep the fall out until Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving? I am borderline, I've always left my fall decor out until after Thanksgiving. And sometimes guys, I'm wanting a sprinkle and a garland. Last year I had my Christmas tree up in October. I'm pretty sure, or just after Halloween. But I was really sad and very down and honestly depressed. So that's when I had the chemical pregnancy. Um, and I put the Christmas tree up. I was like, I need happiness. We're celebrating Christmas early. We're having Christmas. Anyway, so let me know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I am so excited to decorate. Why is decorating? It's just the best thing ever. Isn't it though? It's fun. Found this cute Halloween ambiance on YouTube and pop that on the TV. And then here is our tree decor. The tree usually goes here in this corner. So we might have to move some things around. So I'm gonna pop on the Nightmare Before Christmas on our record player and also really quick our tv we need a new one it's really kind of unfortunate but our disney plus app won't work on this tv it's not compatible disney plus i guess did an upgrade and our tv is not compatible to do it even though the tv is not that old and the dvds won't work with this tv now and just some of the apps don't work with it anymore and it restarts every day. You guys have heard me talk about this, but anyways, I'm kind of bummed because a lot of the Halloween movies that we like to watch, we're not able to watch because the TV won't access them. It's kind of a bummer. I mean, it's first world problems. It's not really that big of a deal, but we love to watch movies. And I thought, oh, I'll just pop in the DVD. That'll fix everything. And then it won't even play those. So whatever, you know. Here's my playlist. I'm Pandora. We're going to pick Nightmare Before Christmas and then connect it. I always put him at the base of the Halloween tree. We're just going to do some little swap outs here. I'm going to put a, make a pile for all my fall decor. I guess we'll put fall here. Hi, Nixie. Hi, pretty girl. Just the best time of the year besides Christmas, of course. My ghost. I don't think he lights up. He does light up, but I think he needs battery. We'll have to fix that. Oh, I have two. We can have symmetrical ghosts. Remember? remember in the last year at Invitational, I think it was the last year we were at Invitational, the ceramic pumpkin fell behind the fireplace and shattered into a million pieces. Uh, yes, yeah, so it got caught on camera.
it's a tree skirt. I need to get a Halloween tree skirt. That's why the gnome, that gnome goes in front of it. Oh, it's so weird how cameras do this with lights. It like unlights them, even though they're all lit. So bizarre. I am working on stringing the tree, which is usually Larry's job, but I took it on this year and I'm enjoying it, but Larry is gonna have a job, a whole job in itself, and that is the floating pumpkins. So if you can see them in here, there is this tiny fish wire and they're all like, they're, <laughs> it looks messy to me. Like, oh my gosh, they're gonna get tangled and it's gonna be chaos. Larry is very patient and very good at that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be Larry's task. And then we are thinking two spots for the floating pumpkins. <sighs> now, naturally we would love to put it in front of the TV. So when we're relaxing, watching movies that we can't watch on our TV because our TV, <laughs> whatever <laughs> anyways um so we can see them at night like it would be cozy and really cool so we're thinking up here so right where you see this light bar we we're thinking of hanging them like in this area but what we don't want is for them to be hanging too low that they block the tv but not that they're like too high where the fan is blocking them so it's going to be a project and then the other spot that we were thinking of hanging them was over here by the front door. So we are gonna go for this section here. We did purchase a ladder that is super tall so that we, we would be able to do projects like this for holidays. So we have the ladder that we need. We will be able to reach the ceiling. I told you guys earlier, I don't know, but Larry's like, no, we got this, we're gonna do it. So <sighs> we're gonna go for it. And I'm gonna finish stringing the lights on this tree and I'm trying to get the lights on the tree done before Liam wakes up from his nap. Also, I talked about naps in a vlog previously, and I think for some reason you guys thought that Liam's taking like multiple naps a day, like many naps a day. He only has one nap a day, not multiple, but anyways, he's down for his one nap that he has, <laughs> one nap a day, and um, I'm really hoping to get the tree done so that when he comes out, he's surprised and really excited. I'm wondering if he's gonna think it's a Christmas tree though. <laughs> so we'll have to be like, oh no, spooky Halloween tree, you know? Oh my gosh, I wonder if he's gonna be able to hang ornaments this year. I mean, he will be. That'll be so cute for him to pop ornaments on the tree. He'll definitely be able to take them down. Oh yeah, I know. That's the thing. <laughs> it's like, he's gonna be taking them off the tree. Liam is all about taking things apart not putting them on. So like with his Lego blocks and stuff like that, he loves taking them all apart. So we'll see, we'll see how that works this year. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's nothing fragile, nothing glass. We'll just have to make sure that if there is a glass ornament, it's at the top or a porcelain ornament. Cause I know for Halloween, I have these really beautiful handmade porcelain ornaments and um, they're from you guys actually that you sent in the PO box when we had a PO box and they are so beautiful. So those porcelain fragile ornaments will be up at the top of the tree. Um, and then there's some ornaments that you guys sent us that aren't fragile, that are really beautiful, that Liam will probably love. And like some soft, squishy ones too. So also thank you so much. When we did have the PO box open, you guys sent so many amazing, lovely things that we have and cherish to this day. So every time we hang up the stuff, I'm like, oh, viewer sent this and we like it's really cute so anyways let's get back to our decorating except i want to get that tree done i'm like halfway done and i'm pooping out with stringing lights it's ridiculous <laughs> i told larry i was like thank god our christmas tree is pre-lit the luxuries of a pre-lit christmas tree penny stand by for the christmas tree Larry's even saying it's a mess. Look at this. It is all they sent. We did not take it out of the box. They ordered these on Amazon and they literally sent them completely tangled. How are we going to do it? Is it even going to be worth? Oh, we'll figure it out. 
I mean, if it was me, I'd be so impatient. I'd just be cutting it all off and re-string it myself. No, 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 let's not get carried <laughs> away. <laughs> Did you guys hear Larry? He's like, let's not get carried away. Now, see, this is why I'm in charge of stringing the tree this year, and Larry's in charge of those pumpkins. This always happens, how the camera's like unlight, do light. Like, look at that, that is so bizarre, weird. Just added our gorgeous tree topper. Hello, Mr. Spider. Now it is time for the ornaments. I think I did an amazing job. It's a Halloween tree. You see the lights and... <laughs> Look at the tree, bud. Love it. They're orange lights. For Halloween. Be spooky. Yeah. You give dad a high five? Daddy wants a high five. Yeah. Yeah. What does the ghost say? Oh. Boo. Boo. And mommy, you'll open your snacks. Mm. Ooh, I can't do it one handed, Liam. There you go, bud. Guys, Liam is watching me out the front window. I hate leaving when he watches me out the front window. It is the cutest thing ever, but like the saddest thing ever. <sighs> like how I'm trying to have sweater weather in Florida again. I'm determined. I don't care. I will sweat to death. It is fall. I am ready for fall weather. <laughs> I'm in the wrong state, but that's okay. Bye, Liam. I love you, buddy. Mwah! Poor baby. All right, we are headed off, <sighs> trash cans in the middle of the driveway, to pick up Luana and head to Trader Joe's, which I'm really excited about. Uh, Larry has spent probably three and a half, four hours trying to detangle those pumpkins, and let's just say they are not detangled yet, and he is next level irate. I told him, I said, let's just toss them out. Toss them in the trash. I shouldn't have writ I should have wrote a letter to Amazon people, whoever I bought those from. But I got them like four months ago, three months ago. It's too late now. But guys, I will not link them because I don't want you to go through the H-E-L-L -L that we have gone through with Larry trying to detangle them. I knew it was a mess. That's why I was like, I would just chop them off. God, these cars are flying by at a thousand miles per hour. And there is after the storm Helene vehicles. It looks like um comfort station trucks that are parked out here. Hello. Hi. For a second, I'm like, I don't see her anywhere. And I'm like, wait a minute, she's in Jimmy's I'm truck. I'm driving the truck today. <laughs> I can barely get out of it. Say hi. Hi, camera. Was that my sibling? Yes, that is your sibling. Hi, sibling. Melinda says hi. I don't know. I was just telling her the funny story. <laughs> Uh, the embryo bit where my mom oh. was like, yeah! Yeah, you're... Don't ruin my day! Yeah, your lack of excitement. Your silence. <laughs> You want to buy plant? Buy plants? Well, I don't have a. I don't need. I don't need any. Like I don't need to buy a plant. Well, we we want to buy a plant. Same thing. So we're finally at Trader Joe's, and I I made a screenshot list of things that I really want. Okay. Okay. You're so I'm yeah. So I'm gonna run these by you. Okay. Number one, the maple spiced nut mix. I saw that. Okay. We have to. The apple shortbread cookies, I'm like, eh, we'll see. I, ha I haven't decided if I want them or don't want them. We have to get tea. It's the fall blend of tea that they have. I can't read that. Harvest blend herbal tea. Oh, that looks good. I like the fox. Caffeine free. Oh, okay. No. Not for me. No, okay. Pumpkin butter. I've never had that. Okay, this is like viral. Everybody talks about the pumpkin butter. You put it on bread, toast, English muffin, whatever. 
Spice Cider. No. Oh no. I like the mugs. This I heard is really good. The pumpkin yogurt. The pumpkin Greek yogurt. I'm not I'm I like unsure. the honey, the crisp apple one. Honey crisp apple cinnamon. That sounds good. Ooh, oh my god, it's that pumpkin looks ravioli. Good. That looks good. Pumpkin yeah. ravioli, guys. And that's uh, us Larry. decorating today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we that's getting it. Larry. That's all my must haves. But first, like the I'm first sure Larry priority. made the list of the must haves. He's a must have. Yeah. The little gourds. They're only 89 cents. Even for these little ones? They're cute. Can't take me anywhere. Literally. These are cute. The ones with the little warts. Did you see the one that I posted the other day that had warts? The pumpkin? Because that wasn't cute. This is cute. Um, I feel like this is cute. These three bouquets are flowers. Oh, the smell in here alone. Luana's getting herself fresh flowers. Three bouquets of fresh flowers. <laughs> Here's the flowers Luana picked out. Gorgeous. Yeah. This excites me. There's one on my list. Done. Should I get flowers? Yeah. A woman always needs to buy herself flowers. That's true. That's it's my, my rule. birthday coming too, so why not? I'm and you've been looking at those. I know. There's something about this reminds me of Daenerys. It reminds me of dragon. It's a good like Halloween flower. Yeah. I have no idea what they are. But... Do we need a pop of orange to make it more fall? We'll just stick with this for now. Stick her here. All right. There's the fall leaf chips. I don't need them now. Ooh, pumpkin bisque. Are these chocolates? Look at these. I'll buy these for mom. What is this? This looks good. Mushroom ravioli. Oh, I'm a. There's my mushroom ravioli See, I again. Got these at, um, is it good? Oh, you haven't tried it yet. I'm gonna get this for dad. I literally might have to go back and get a second one of these, Luana. Imagine it on a Saturday. I know, that's why I said, oh my god, no. On this a weekend. At 6 o'clock. It is. The whole parking lot is full. We were successful. I feel like we stuck to pretty much fall, fall goodies. A couple fun fruits. You got some wines. I got wine. One for me, one for my mom. And then... What else did we get? Just veggies. a lot of stuff. Veggies. Fruit. Fruit. I yeah, stuck to very mask. fall. Oh, the lip mask. You'll have to I'm let me know how that is. Because I love the Laneige lip mask, so I want to know how that like compares. This is $4.99. See, that's a big, that's a price difference. So if it's amazing, let me know. So now we're headed home. It'll go well with my magnesium pills. <laughs> yeah, magnesium pills. Now you need some melatonin pills to really spice it up. I know, right? <laughs> Perfect. Am I getting old or what? Uh, I've been taking, they say magnesium for migraines. My um, 
massage therapist said I should take magnesium. For the muscles? Yeah. It doesn't work she for me. She said a I bunch take of it. other things. I take two 250 magnesiums and it does not, like, I never notice anything. Sometimes I wake up with a freaking pounding headache, too. That could just because, whatever, sleep. She said you're supposed to take your magnesium pill in the morning. She recommends that in the morning on oh. an empty stomach. Oh. And then she said that she takes, she drinks a hot cup of water with either just plain hot water, warm water, or water with lemon. I know, pregnant. I and could not do that. And then she starts with her, and then she'll have a cup of coffee. And she said it's a game changer. I feel like taking vitamins on an empty stomach, even not pregnant, would make me puke. Mm. And then with the hot water and then coffee, I'd be sitting. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> She's got a strong stomach. She's probably also trained her body. Probably. All right. Let's go. It's stretching. It's stretching. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mommy's hair is looking crazy. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It is the next day. So by the time I got home, obviously it was very dark outside and I just didn't show you guys what we picked up from Trader Joe's. You want Cheerios? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, come on. You want the box or you want the, cause you have Cheerios out here, right? I could not end this vlog without showing you guys everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. Also, we have not finished decorating. I think that's gonna be a continuation in the next video. So I am extremely, extremely out of breath as I am filming this, so bear with me. But the first thing that I picked up was these fall chips. Totally not necessary, but I just loved that they were fall leaf shaped and I thought that was really cute plus fall colors and then I got them because I did get the fall harvest salsa also my dishwasher is going so maybe hearing swishing and whooshing and all that oh my god so in the fall salsa it says this is an, an, an autumnal what is that word melange 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 of fruits and veggies, you guys are probably busting up laughing at me right now, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. And when you read that, you're like, ooh, I don't know. But, are you gonna come correct me on this word? What is that word? Hmm. Mm, I'm not sure. Right? Here's, here's the word, guys. I was hoping it wasn't menagerie. No. <laughs> Um, but the ingredients, all the ingredients in here are pumpkin, tomatoes, water, tomatillo, tom tomatillo, 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 <gasps> onions, apples, butternut squash, red, ap red, oh my god, send this girl some help, <laughs> red bell peppers, jalapenos, honey, lime juice, concentrate, sea salt, natural flavor, garlic, and cumin. But anyways, at first I was worried because it sounded very fruity, right? You've got fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. However, with the jalapeno, the onion, the tomatoes, I feel like it'll be like a savory, hopefully good salsa. We will try this in an upcoming video. As long as it says pumpkin, she's gonna buy it. Right now, we are all about pumpkin season. Next, I have been wanting chili oil for a very long time just to add to recipes, mainly that I'll eat because the boys definitely will not have anything spicy. Um, Liam, not right now, but I thought to add to ramens, to soups, to freshly chopped up cucumbers. If you guys have anything else that you add this to, let me know and I'll try it. Also, ginger mints. I thought this was like a double whammy. The ginger and mint for nausea, both for car sickness, which I'm prone to, pregnancy sickness, which I'm also still prone to, so I thought this was a win. Okay, this I did try and I'm not a fan, which I'm really disappointed about. It's the maple spiced nut mix, nut mix with maple rosemary almonds, pecans with red and black pepper, sweet and dried cranberries, and pepitas. I missed the red and black pepper. I love everything about this. I was hoping more for sweet, but it has like a spicy pepper. And I was like, no, I don't want that with like maple nuts. I was hoping like a sweet kind of nut and the pepper killed the vibe. So I will not eat it. I can't, I can't do it. So I'm gonna take it over to my mom and dad's house for birthday weekend and see if anybody else likes it. If so, hopefully they will eat them and they can have it. Oh my God. Hi buddy. 
Next we have pumpkin butter, very excited. So this you can put on like toast, English muffin, uh, whatever you feeling like, a bagel. We suggest using Trader Joe's pumpkin butter as a pastry filling, poultry graze, oh, an ice cream topping, or on toast mixed with fat frame cream cheese for a unique spread. So yay. I did get a candle. This is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle made with a natural soy wax blend, lead free cotton wick. And it's very sweet. Like if you don't love a very sweet um, vanilla -y pumpkin candle, you would not like this at all. It is like that sick sweet, but I like it. I think it's good. Sometimes the six feet I don't like, this, this one I like. Next, we have the non-fat Greek pumpkin yogurt. I ate this, I loved it. And then like within an hour, it was very unwell with my stomach. So I think this might be a stomach trigger for me. So I'm afraid to eat it. Moving forward. Next, we have the pumpkin ravioli thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling. Really excited with this one. I think my plans for it are just to do like grated Parmesan and toss it in olive oil. They suggest that like that's the simplest way to eat it. So I'm gonna try that. I did get the Trader Joe's Green Goddess Salad Dressing. And then the Spiced Cider, which Larry and I are very excited to have during like movie nights and show nights. And I did pick up two of the Butternut Squash Mac and Cheese. I have tried one, very good. I could not finish it. I was just, it was really heavy and rich for me during this pregnancy. I'm having a difficulty eating like heavy, rich foods. I almost just want fruit. I'm 13 weeks and I'm still in that phase of like, I just want cold drinks, fruits and smoothies. It's just easier um, for me at the moment, but that is everything. Oh, and my flowers, which are right here. So. That is that. And then let me show you guys a couple of the ornaments that we have on the Halloween tree. Liam is loving the Halloween tree. He's also leaving all the ornaments on there. He's not trying to take them off, which is also a huge plus. So let me show you that. And then we will continue on with the rest of the decor in the next video. Holy out of breath. So at the top, we have the spider and then we have sparkly fall leaves. Here are the beautiful porcelain or the ceramic clay ornaments that I was talking about that one of you guys sent along with these as well. They're so cute. These are um, wooden and also these, which are soft. So that is pretty much all of the ornaments that are on here. We stuck with the soft and the wooden ornaments all in the bottom for Liam. And then just these clay ones are fragile and we put them higher up. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you guys again very soon. This mama is struggling right now, guys, with out of breath. What the heck is happening? I need a guzzle water.